by request, we'll do some seated work today. So let's come into a cross-legged gentle position. And remember, uncross your legs and cross them the other way if you've gone into your habitual version. And then just move those sitting bones slightly behind you. Get that core activated for support and reach the crown toward the ceiling so that those spine bones at least get a little bit of stretch apart. Take a moment to breathe, bringing that awareness internally and keep that inner focus during our practice. Take a moment to center, exhaling any stress, any aches and pains, just let them go. And then reach up through the crown. And as you exhale, pull the ribs back and round forward, get a good stretch on the back of your body. And just let that whole spine open a little bit more. And then inhaling, lift your heart, look slightly up toward the ceiling, but don't lift your chin too high. Drop your shoulders, a little upper body back bend. So really push the chest forward, shoulder blades down. And then again, exhale, round forward. Really crunch those abs a little bit together, pull the ribs back, and just round looking down. And then again, inhale, chest forward and up, lengthening. Keep that back of the neck, though, stretching at the same time. And then come back into your upright position. And let's switch the legs around because we do that in yoga. And then bring your arms down, one arm out to the side, palm toward the ceiling, other arm above your shoulder, slide over to the side, keep both sitting bones, hips down, and get those ribs stretching apart. Keep reaching out through your head and your fingertips, keep sliding the hand further or bend your elbow and come down a little deeper, whatever works for you. Just feel those ribs getting lengthened, and that sideways motion through your spine. And then inhale back up, and bring that arm down, and we'll go the other way. Arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. And again, slide out over to the side, both sitting bones down, reach the fingertips and head away. And again, keep sliding or bending your elbow, but keep both sitting bones down so you get that extra stretch through the ribs. Take a breath, just stretch and relax. And again, inhale back upright and release. Take a moment feeling the spine and lengthening it. And let's switch the legs again and do our twist. So arms out to the side, arms to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands up. Stretch high, but shoulders down. Keep that spine open and turn to one side. Hand to the outside of the knee, the other hand right behind you. Bring it close to your body on the floor behind you and stretch up through the fingertips, through the crown, and turn as you deepen even further. So let this back hip that you're turning away from come up a little bit so that both sitting bones aren't planted. You want to be moving hips, ribs, and shoulder into your twist, not just your neck. And then lengthening up again, exhale, maybe deepen. And then inhaling, bring your arms back up and turn to the center and release. Take a moment there, just feel how things are in your spine. And of course, we'll twist the other way so you can switch your legs around once more. Hands at your sides, arms out, palms to the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Stretch it up, shoulders down, and turn to the other side. Hand to the outside of the knee, the other hand right behind you on the floor. Stretch up, and exhale, hips, ribs, shoulder, everything turning, going deeper into your twist. Take a breath, just relax. Deepening as much or as little as your body needs for your twist today.
Remember that back hip will be up a little bit so you get that motion through the whole spine. And then inhaling, raise your arms, coming back to the center, out and down. Lift your knees and stretch your legs forward into staff position. Pressing out through the heels, up through the crown, keeping that core active and supporting your spine. Shoulders relaxing and just keep reaching that head up to the ceiling. We'll warm up the hips a little bit since we're on the floor. So sitting bones behind you, a little padding if you need it to get that pelvic tilt. Bring one foot to the upper thigh and the knee coming out to the side. Feel how that hip is working today. If it's tight, remember you can bring this foot over to the side and let the knee come down even further. So weight of your hands, but never pressure, letting a little bit more movement work through that hip joint if that's needed for you today. Take a breath, relax. Keep that core active, the spine nice and straight and open, and just let the leg relax down. Muscles release when they're relaxing, so let it relax, don't push. Take a breath, just relax. And then bring your foot and knee into your hands or wrap your arms around and pull the leg in further and side to side motion, getting that hip rotator on the outside of the hip, working a little bit more. So a little bit of lubrication there. If it feels like it's getting easier and better, you can pull the leg closer or bring it higher. That makes it a little more intense. Don't go there if you don't need it. Take a breath. Shoulders relax. And then release that leg and feel how that is working through your body today. Of course, things are now unbalanced, so we've got to do the other way. Foot up and knee coming down. And again, just let it relax. A little extra weight with the hands, but no pressure. Don't push or bring the leg over and just let it release maybe a little bit more easily if that works for you. Take a breath, just completely relax that leg, letting it have its release and just letting that hip get a little bit more opened. And then put up into your hand and knee into your hand or wrap your arms around. And again, move it side to side for that outside of your hip rotator, getting it a little bit more warmed up. Take a breath. Relaxing, bringing it more intense if you love it or not if you don't. And then release that and again back into staff position. Take a moment there, shoulders back and down, core active, and bring the bottoms of your feet into butterfly, letting those knees go out toward the sides, heels in toward your body. And again, just let that inner thigh now release, relaxing. You bring the hands again to the knees, but no pressure, just a little extra weight to get those knees maybe releasing a little bit further. Lift your heart, push those sitting bones back, and then bring the hands behind you and just a little pressure in your hands, and that'll activate that inner core maybe a little bit more and possibly let those knees maybe drop a little further. But remember, don't push it, just let it happen wherever it wants to go. Take a breath, release any tension with the exhalations. And just allow that stretch to occur. And then releasing your hands back to the center, slide the feet out just a little bit, drop your hands to the floor, and bring the tops of your, or the palms of your hands to the tops of your feet. <clears throat> Press the knees out toward the sides just a little bit and bring your chest down toward your feet. Sitting bones behind you, stretch the spine long. Remember, keep it long, no rounding. Let the chest coming down. And just feel that whole spine stretch open. And then releasing your hands, sit back up, hands to the outsides of the knees, lift them and bring the legs out to the front. Take a moment and breathe. Just feel your body, 
lengthen up, keep that core active, and let's do our diving dolphin. So right foot to the inner left thigh, knee out to the side, bend your left knee, pull that heel back near your hip. So that hip will be up, the heel is not under it, and we want to again lengthen the spine for a twist, and exhale, turn your whole body to the right knee so that you're twisting around. Ribs in, tuck your chin, drop your forehead down toward the floor. So you're the dolphin, exhaling as you dive under the water. Rotate your face forward, lift your heart, and inhale your way up to the sun and the sky. So just dive your dolphin as deeply as you want to go, forehead down toward the leg, and then rotating, lifting the heart and face up to the sun and the sky. Feel the whole spine working. Down through a forward bend on the way down. And a nice little backward bend on the way up. And allow your body just to breathe with it. Exhaling out on the way down. And inhaling on the way up. And the next time you're at the top, pause there. Exhaling back to the center. And releasing your legs. And come back into staff position. Take a moment to notice your body, and of course, you need to balance and go the other way. Sitting bones behind you, left foot to the inner right thigh, knee out to the side, and heel back on that right leg near your right hip. Stretch up, keep this hip up so you can twist, exhaling, turning to the left leg. Ribs in, rounding your spine, exhaling, diving under, forehead toward that knee. Face to the front, chest lifting, shoulders down as you come all the way up, breathing in. And then again, diving under on the exhalation, inhaling to the top. Feel that chest open, spine stretching even through the neck as you go into that back bend. And you are the dolphin, remember, so just dive under on the exhalations and lift up to the sun and the sky as you breathe in. And once more, as you come up on that final time, just take a moment to pause and stretch and exhale back to the center, releasing once more into staff position. Take a moment there, sitting bones behind you, hands at your sides. So take a moment in staff position, just feeling that spine lengthening up. Arms out at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands right above your shoulders. Exhale, bring the hands down to your shoulders, sink into your sitting bones. Inhale, from the sitting bones up through the crown and the fingertips, reach up. Exhale, sink down again, hands to your shoulders. And this time, really stretch that spine apart, pivot, chest leading, reach for your toes or your legs. And push the sitting bones a little further back. So spine is straight, not rounded. Chest is coming toward your legs. Let those backs of the legs get a little stretch. So kneecaps toward your thighs. Tighten the front of your thighs so the backs of your legs can stretch maybe more. And just relax. Hands to your toes or your ankles or your shins, wherever they go. Stretch the spine long. Lift the crown higher. And then exhale, chest even further toward the knees. Push out through the bottoms of your feet, through the heels, pull the toes back. You feel the backs of your legs getting a little more stretch. And then release your arms from wherever they are. Bring your arms by your ears. Keep stretching up through your fingertips, but down with your shoulders as you sit back straight up. Fingers reaching to the ceiling right above your shoulders. Palms out all the way to shoulder level, and down. Just take a moment, feeling how that is in your body. And then separate your legs as wide as they want to go. Sitting bones again behind you, and release any stretch, stress and tightness through those inner thighs, pushing out through the bottoms of your feet, as much as feels good. So remember, kneecaps toward your thighs, tighten the, front, tighten the front of the thighs so that that back of the legs gets a little bit more stretchable. 
and relax. Stretch up through the crown, and again, hands at your sides, arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Exhale, release the hands down. Inhale, stretch it up. And again, exhale down. Now really stretch the spine apart, reaching those fingertips to the ceiling, but remember, keep the shoulders, shoulder blades down. Returning to one foot, exhale, hands to your shoulders. Inhale and stretch. And as you exhale again, chest leading toward your knee, hands toward that foot that you're turning toward. Relax the other leg, keep pressing out through both bottoms of the feet. Stretch it out. Keep lengthening up through the crown. Exhale, chest maybe a little further toward the knee. Take the arm you're turning toward on that leg inside the knee, bring the other arm out and back behind you, right at shoulder level, palm toward the ceiling. Bring that arm up and over, arm next to your ear. Reach for your toes while your body is twisted toward the front. So arm by your ear, hand going toward it or beyond your toes, wherever it reaches, or not, arm in the air if that's where you are. Take a moment and breathe. <clears throat> so you're in a twist, this back hip is slightly up so that you can turn your whole body, hips, ribs, and shoulder facing the front. Take a moment and stretch out through the fingertips, and then fingertips lead back up, turn your whole body back to the center, arms out, Release your arms. Take a moment and feel what's different on the two sides. So yeah, we need to balance and go the other way. Hands to your sides, shoulders, shoulder blades down, arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. And again, exhale and release. Inhale and stretch up. Exhale and sink. And as you inhale and stretch up, turn toward that other foot. And again, exhale and release. Inhale and stretch. And exhale, chest leading toward that knee, hands reaching out toward your foot. Crown up toward the ceiling, stretch it out. And as you exhale, bring your chest closer toward that leg. Keep it as straight and stretched out as feels good for the back of your leg. And reach your hands toward your foot or your ankle or your shin or wherever. Or being on the floor is fine too. Stretch it out. Exhale and deepen. And then bring that front hand around and turn into a twist. And bring that hand up and over by your ear. Reach for your toes. And again, your whole body is turned toward the center. Oh, we forgot to bring that elbow inside the knee, didn't we? That helps to leverage you into the twist as you bring that arm back and around and up and over. <clears throat> so arm in front of the leg, whole body turned to the front. Arm by your ear, reaching for your toes. And don't forget to stretch it out and breathe out through the crown. And then bring that arm back up, leading your whole body back into the center, arms stretching out, and release your arms. Bend your knees, bring them in, and again, into staff position. Take a moment as you get back into your core activated, spine upright, shoulders relaxing down position. And you can bring your hands next to you into staff pose. Take a moment and breathe. Press out through the bottoms of your heels. And again, feel that core supporting you. Bring your feet hip width apart and then draw your heels in near your, near your sitting bones, feet flat on the floor, knees straight up. And remember, a little roll in so that those knees aren't spreading apart. <clears throat> so <clears throat> hips, knees, ankles lined up. You're on your sitting bones. We're going to stay on the sitting bones. Arms, palms up outside your knees just to keep the shoulders down. And then lean a little bit more back till you feel your core working a little bit more. 
Shoulder, shoulder blades toward your waist, crown reaching away, spine nice and straight, and just leaning into that reclined position slightly. And then bring one foot up a little, or straighten that shin parallel to the floor, or straighten the leg completely and reach out through those balls of the foot, base of the toe area. So you're on your sitting bones, not your sacrum, you're not rolling back. Thighs parallel to each other as much as you can. And stretch out through the bottoms of your foot. Shoulder, shoulder blades down. If you feel a little vibration in that core, that's okay. If that thigh, though, is giving you the vibration, lower your leg a little bit. That helps to release that hip flexor tightness. Stretch it out. And then exhale, foot to the floor. You can stay there with the core active, or you can sit up and take a break. So just feel what's going on in your body. Remember, personal practice only as far as you need to go. Never stress or strain in yoga. Feet hip width apart, knees straight up, core active. Lean a little bit back, but stay on your sitting bones, not your sacrum. And we'll do the other way. So just keep those hands, palms up to keep those shoulders released. Straighten it out as much or a little as you need. You can keep the knee bent, that's okay. You can keep the foot close to the floor. Wherever it is in your body, that's where it is. Feel that core working. <laughs> keep that supporting you. Stay on your sitting bones, don't roll backwards. And don't forget to keep your shoulders released as well. Take a breath, stretch out through the base of the toes. And if you're vibrating, you can always put the foot down sooner. Otherwise, you know, just keep stretching it out. Feel what's rolling on. And go ahead and bring that foot down when you're ready. Again, sit up and take a break if you want to. Or just keep working those hips. <clears throat> so we're going to do both feet together. When we do both feet together, it's more intense. So remember, you can keep those feet low. You don't have to ever go out. Or you can hold your toes and use your arms for a little release through that hip flexor if that's where you want to be. I find that a little bit easier on my hip flexor, so I usually do it, but it's up to you. So again, on your sitting bones with that core active, lifting those feet, keep them low or a little higher or straight or hold your toes and then straighten and get those hip flexors releasing a little bit more. So sitting bones are connected. You're not rolling back on your sacrum. You're letting that core support you. You're reaching out through the base of the toes, even if you've got your hands on your ankles or your shins or your toes. And just keep reaching out through the legs, out through the crown as well. Remember that spine is nice and straight. It's not rounded. And that core is active and working and supporting you. And oh yeah, if those vibrating feelings in the core are too much for you, put those feet back down. It's perfectly okay. Stretch it out as much as you want. And then slowly bring the feet down, slide it out, sitting up. Relax that belly and just release any tightness in your spine, your shoulders, your whole body. And inhaling, sit up. Bring the feet all the way to the end of the mat. And again, press out through the bottoms of your feet. Core nicely activated, stretching up through the crown. We're going to use that core for support just to slowly roll to the sacrum. As you get all the way toward the sacrum area, just pause, see how that's going. Is that core area working to support you? And then just go a little further, down onto those lower ribs, and then onto the shoulder blades, and then the shoulders down, and your whole body to the floor. Take a moment, just that reclined integration, letting the shoulders relax, the belly soften, Keep those toes slightly toward each other, and then just relax your whole body and allow everything just to soften and sink. Take a breath. Exhale. And then we're going to bring the arms up to T position. Shoulders down. 
Press your sitting bones towards your heels and bend your knees. Bring the feet in toward your sitting bones. So feet are flat on the floor. Shoulder, shoulder blades down. Let's shift the hands, palms down next to you and do a little bridge. So press your back down into the floor, the full back. Abs pulling down, sitting bones slightly towards your heels. Hands, palms down, shoulders, shoulder blades onto the floor. Feel that whole body connecting. And then we're gonna lift the hip bones and bring them up toward the ceiling. So remember, keep rolling in at the top of the thighs so those knees don't spread apart. Feet are supporting you evenly and those hip bones just going up as far as they want to go. You'll feel that a little bit in the front of the thighs. So just go only where you need to go. Take a breath, clasp your hands under you, put that little finger inside and press the sides of the hands down. And arms into the floor, coming up onto your shoulders, not your neck. And make sure the back of your head is still on the floor. So lifting, lifting up through those hip bones, knees right above your ankles, and hips going evenly toward the ceiling. So you're up in your bridge, lift the ribs maybe a little bit more. And then release your hands, release your shoulders, Come onto your shoulder blades and then your ribs and then the whole spine down to the floor and totally relax. Take a moment and breathe. Feel that belly just pull it down toward the floor, get it that active core working for you again. And we're going to go up into another bridge. As we go up into the bridge, this time we're going to clasp the hands the opposite way. So whichever finger you have on the outside, naturally shift them over one finger and it'll feel weird, but that's okay. And then bringing the finger inside, we'll use that side of the hand for support again. So hands, palms down, sitting bones towards your heels, back pressing down. Lift those hip bones up, coming onto your shoulder blades. Press the hands the opposite way under you. And again, sides of the hands down, arms pressing down, work up onto your shoulders a little bit more. But remember, keep those knees toward the ceiling, not out toward the sides. Hips, ribs lifting, coming onto the shoulders, not your neck. And the back of the head still behind you on the floor. Both feet supporting evenly, so keep those hip bones evenly lifting toward the ceiling as well. Take a moment and breathe, lift maybe a little higher through those ribs and hips. Take a breath. And then releasing your hands, come off your shoulders onto the shoulder blades, bring your ribs down to the floor and the full spine down, and take a moment to breathe. Exhale, any tension, bring the hands out, palms up or down, right outside your shoulders on the floor. Again, pressing the back down into the floor, you lift your feet off the floor and keep the knees next to each other. We'll roll them over to one side and turn your head toward the opposite side for a little twist. So just breathe and deepen as much as your body wants for your twist. Remember, keep those spine bones moving apart so they can twist. Knees coming as far toward the floor as they want. You can pad if you need to for that lower back to make it easier. Turn your head for that neck area twist as well, going the opposite direction as much as you need or want. And keep the shoulders down for your middle back twist. Stay there. If you love the lower back twist, you can bring the knees up toward your elbow. And if you still love that, you can straighten your legs out toward your hand. So maximize or minimize. Remember, twists are personal practice, just like all of yoga. Do what's right for your body. Take a breath. Relaxing, deepening if you need to or want to. And then bring your heels back toward your hips. And roll onto your back, getting ready to go to the opposite side. Bring your feet to the floor and straighten out if you need to. And again, bringing your feet up off the floor, knees right above your hips. Roll those knees to the other direction. And turn your head the opposite way. Again, shoulders stay down. Head turns as much as your neck needs in the twist. 
and those knees just come as far toward the floor as they want. And those of you who love the low back twist, you can stay there or go further, knees toward your elbow, or legs straightening out if that's where you want to be on this side. And again, keep the shoulders down, keep the head turned. You do whatever's right for your lower back to make those legs and knees. Take a breath. Just relaxing into your twist as much as you want. And when you're ready to release, again, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back, knees above your hips, bringing the feet to the floor, sliding it out, and coming into your corpse position for our relaxation. So shoulders down, hands, palms up slightly away from your hips on the floor, toes toward each other, and then just relax your legs about hip with the cord, and let your whole body relax. So release that lower back, all the legs and the feet. Shoulders down toward the floor, just letting that chest open, exhaling any stress or tension in the arms and hands. Move your head side to side, let the neck get a little relaxation as well. Scrunch your face, and then just exhale and release it. And let your whole body grow heavy, softening and sinking into that earth support, letting your body completely go, relaxing every muscle. As you deepen into the earth embrace, just let awareness of your body release from your mind. And as you do, other thoughts will come to you. Just let them go as well. There's no need to remember the past or anticipate the future. Just let the thoughts flow in and out as easily as your breath. And just as you deepen the breathing, and allow those thoughts to drift, disappearing like a cloud floating away. And your body growing heavier and deeper into that earth embrace. Just allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. Focus inward, letting everything release. Deepening only into the awareness of that peace deep within. Fill your body, fill your mind, fill your being only with peace. And as long as that relaxation feels good for you today, keep relaxing if you have the time. If it's time, though, to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you begin breathing more deeply, just be moving your body gently, however it feels good for you this time. Breathing more fully and stretching more completely. Just allow yourself to move however feels right for you. And when you're ready for that final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, heels up toward your hips, and knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug 
letting your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, bring your head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.